Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. My name is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquay of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. Living Streams International, we meet behind the trade fair, behind Zenith College at the Life Cathedral, Zoe Chapel, on Sundays in the morning and then on Wednesdays in the evenings. Now, this, this um, morning, I'd like to capture my thoughts on flowers of blessing. Many years ago, many, many years ago, I had the chance of having a chat with a pastor. And the pastor told me a story. And I thought about it, I thought about it, and I said, wow. Sometimes people do not know. There, there, was, there was a church that had a lot of flowers. I mean, plastic flowers. And the church didn't have an office of their own at that time. So instruments were being kept at maybe in a pastor's house, and then the flowers for the deco, you know, were being kept in uh, another person's house. Of course, that person lived in a family house, so that house didn't belong to the person. And then one day, the pastor told me that in the middle of the night, the lady called him crying, and the lady said, Pastor, I've asked to take the rubbish out of my house and bring it to you, to your house. But you, your house, will not tolerate this rubbish. But you have brought these plastic flowers that are used to decorate God's house. You have brought it to my house. So my, a sibling of mine, in anger, blasting me and insulting me, asked me to take away this rubbish, this nonsense, this, this thing. And when the pastor was telling me the story, he said, he asked them, to bring the, the flowers. So the lady came in tears and said, Pastor, for me these flowers are not rubbish. For me these flowers are a blessing. But you know, it's not my house. And they have ganged up. That, that sibling did it with friends. They have ganged up. And these are the things they are saying. You know, the pastor looked at the lady and said, it's okay, you bring it. Now, I sat down and then some things began to run through my mind. Then he ended the story with, that particular sibling gave birth to a child and the child died in very painful circumstances. Then a lamp was lit in my mind because there's a story and that story is in 2 Samuel. There's a story in 2 Samuel. And that story is so powerful. And that's why I called it Flowers of Blessing. In 2 Samuel chapter 6, verse 11, in 2 Samuel chapter 6, verse 11, the Bible said, you know, after the ark had gone to the Philistines and the the ark had cut off the heads of the gods of the Philistines, and the Philistines just pushed the ark outside, you get and allowed the ark with the, this thing to go on its own. You get it with pull the harnesses to oxen and they and they just allowed it to roam. The Bible says there was a man called Obedidom. And this Obedidom in Second Samuel chapter six, verse eleven on, the Bible says this Obedidom. You know, in 2 Samuel chapter 6, Obedidom took the ark and brought the ark to his house. And when the ark was brought to the house, when David inquired, where is the ark? He was told the, the ark is in the house of Obedidom and the, the house of Obedidom had been blessed. That means Obedidom opening his house to the things of God was blessed. No one, no one, no one would borrow a boat. No one would borrow a boat to God 
and God will not fill you to the great drought of fish. The ark, the things of God in the presence, a home cell or a, a, a distant, a little fellowship. I know families who open up their homes for, for a fellowship to the, for the start of maybe Presbyterian churches and all the, they are blessed. They are blessed. Maybe you don't know the presence of those flowers or the presence of the things of God in your home, instruments, whatever it is then, just for a moment, they are temporary uh, residences for the things of God. A temporary home cell, a temporary, you know, a place of meeting, a temporary place, a place of keeping, maybe, maybe communion cups, all those things. They are a blessing. They are a blessing. The Bible said that the, the ark in Obedidom's house brought a blessing. Sometimes when we are called upon to offer residences for the things of God, we have, we have time to do parties where people are drinking and there's debauchery and everything going on, licentiousness going on. But sometimes we don't have space for the things of God. And sometimes we treat those things of God with contempt. As if they have no value. Those flowers were being used to decorate the house of God. For goodness sake. For goodness sake. Don't label it as rubbish. Don't label it as trash. Don't label it as stupid and nonsense. Don't. Don't throw, if, you, if you want to throw them out, you, you, you let them go with grace. Because their presence. Do you remember what Joshua said? As for me and my house, I know people will say, he and his household. That's true. But he and his entire house, his habitation, will serve the Lord. You know what? Nobody offers God a boat. And ends up a loser. The presence of those things in your home is a blessing and it's not a curse. Flowers of grace. See you later.